The NIV says that the Son was appointed the Son of God in power by his resurrection. Does that mean he wasn't the Son before the resurrection? This gives us a great example of the semantic range of a word. Horizo, if you go to BDAG and to the second meaning, it's to make a determination about an entity. Well, what kind of determination? Well, you can determine, appoint, fix, or set. So the question is, what fits the context? My problem with appointed is that in English, it can just about only mean that he wasn't the son before his resurrection and he became something or at least was functioning as someone different after the resurrection. And that's why when you look at the other translations, you have declared in ESB, declared ESV, and declared in the NRSV, and then beautifully shown in the NLT, that the Son was shown to be the Son of God, which certainly is what this passage must mean. We have to be really careful with how people are going to hear words. Now, Moon, his commentary, has an interesting argument that horizo can't mean declared in the first century AD, and you can check there for the information. But to my ears, I must admit that the only thing I can hear with the phrase appointed was that he wasn't the Son of God before, and he became the Son of God by the work of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Holiness, at his resurrection. The determination must be about how he is viewed and not by what he essentially is.